What can you get from a broken smoke alarm? The answer is most likely a piezotransducer. In this instalment of Electronics on the Floor, I'll run through a few things you can do with a piezotransducer. It's useful for various audio and sensor applications. The piezotransducer is the thing in the smoke alarm that makes the noise. It's not an oscillator or buzzer by itself. It needs some driving circuitry. Most have two connections, but this particular one has three. We know how loud one of these transducers can sound if we've ever heard a smoke alarm going off. But they also do the reverse. They're fantastic for detecting minute vibrations. And you can use them as earphones, as we'll demonstrate later on. I've just connected my transducer to a 3.5mm socket. The outer connection is connected to earth. And there are two other connections. They are shorted together and they go to the active. A transducer produces low level AC signals. To prove that yours is working, connect it to the input of an audio amplifier. You could even use amplified computer speakers if you want. Tapping the edge of the transducer on a hard surface should give you a sound like this. And you get different types of sounds if you rub sandpaper along its edge. Here I've got it connected to an LED. This is what happens when I tap the edge of the transducer on a hard table. It's enough for the LED to light. There's even more brightness when I file it like this. And when you tread on it, there's also power generated. Until you break the wires, in which case, if you try and solder them back on again, don't apply too much heat, because the copper coating on this is so thin that it disintegrates under the heat of a reasonably hot soldering iron. This is the piezo transducer connected to the FT817 where it's tuned to a contact on 40 meters. You might be able to hear something, but it's pretty low. I'll just hold it up to the microphone in the camera. One thing that can be helpful is pressing it up against a container. Here I'm holding the edge against the edge of a plastic box. And now I'm pressing it on its center. If you use something like this metal bowl, you'll get an even louder audio. One thing that I would suggest experimenting with is seeing if you can use it as a selective CW speaker where it has a good response around maybe 7 to 900 hertz with the response falling off either side. You'll probably have to experiment with different shaped and size vessels in order to get that sort of characteristic. What about a transducer's use with a crystal set? Okay, I'm cheating a bit here because I'm using one with a Q multiplier. Anyway, I found its audio output was nearly as good as a proper pair of high impedance phones.
If you're lucky enough to have a transducer with three connections, then you can make a simple audio oscillator like this. All it is is the transducer plus four extra components. A small signal NPN transistor and three resistors. Value is not critical, but I used 100K, 470 ohm and 4.7K. Just trying a 9 volt battery. And even with this very flat NICAD 1.2 volt battery, there's a bit of a noise still coming out of it. These are a few things you can do with a piezo transducer as found in old smoke alarms. When the time comes to replace yours, don't throw out the old one. There could be some useful bits inside.